it yeah, it might be hard. Yeah. Just a single. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. If you're new here, this is what happens. John usually is picking up everything and recording <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> welcome back uh, it has been a super long time like five months I think I think so and I, uh, I never thought I'd be this happy to pick through trash right? <laughs> but uh, if you're new here uh, this is I think episode five yep of uh, resellers and cars picking trash so we're gonna ride around neighborhoods see if we can find any any good finds in the trash and uh, have some conversation along the way yeah it's been a while we stopped going in the winter because it was getting dark really early like 5 30 6 o'clock yeah, it was getting time. dark Are they throwing the bicycle out? It looks like a, it's a, a next bike i don't know what that I don't know if there's any value in that one or not so yeah we had to stop for a while just because by the time the work day was done we just didn't have time to drive around and look for anything before it got dark yeah and today it is a beautiful day and uh so spring is here now so we should be able to do this a lot more often what's over there is that a chair it's a chair yeah you can tell if it's like a cow print chair or something might have to circle back around somebody's bringing some stuff out yeah our, our thought process is you know everyone's been cooped up for a while it's, it's time for some spring cleaning so hopefully there will be some uh some good finds here eventually so since we've last done one of these videos, Brennan has started a podcast. I have. Uh, flip it curiously. Uh, it's me and my buddy Tony. Uh, just it's an excuse to get together and shoot the breeze, basically. Um, so we've talked done two episodes now. Yep, second episode was just released this Tuesday. Um, so yeah, we're we're gonna try to do it weekly as schedules allow. And, uh, We'll see how it goes, but it's been fun. We were uh, talking reselling, got a little sports talk here and there. Uh, and There's some... something behind that can, but I can't tell what it is. Behind the can, I couldn't see it myself. Yeah, it's been it's been fun. It's uh, a learning experience trying to figure out how to how to work off each other because we don't know each other that well. So, not like myself and John, we've known each other for yeah. You guys, years, 10 years? That sounds about right. You guys have a good rapport, though. Like, I listened to the first episode. It seems like you guys have known each other a long time, the way you talk. Thank you. We're, uh, we're very, we are very similar. We have a lot of, a lot of the same likes, so that helps for sure. I guess you wouldn't do a podcast with someone you didn't like. Right. right. That would not make a lot of sense. But, uh, yes, since the last time, so we ended right around the end of garage sale season, I think. Last yeah, summer. it was like October, something like that. So we've been in, for most of us, usually it's an off season, but it uh, seems like you've been been pretty steady hopping this whole this whole time. Yeah, I've been buying a lot of stuff, buying out eBay stores and collections and all kinds of stuff. It's been pretty. It's been pretty cool to see. Like you've gotten some amazing, amazing. Yeah, stuff. I've been lucky. Like I've gotten some really good finds. Luck definitely plays a part in it, but uh, you're also willing to put in the work too. I think. Yeah, which which goes a long way. But yeah, we all we all get lucky. That's that is for sure. What's been your favorite kind of this this off season of finds? I think maybe that Funko buy mm. where I bought like 35 Funkos for 800. And I like doing Funkos because they're so easy to list. Okay. If they list really easy, like <clears throat> it takes two or three minutes to list the Funko Pop and it doesn't take long to ship them at all. And there was, you know, a really good return for the amount of time I had to put in. Yeah, it looked like that was a really, really great buy. I've never messed with Funkos myself. Um, the problem is that 
most of the ones you see out there are like worthless. They're like two or three dollars. There's, right. you know, There's too many of them made. Yeah, and too many variations and stuff. But there are some valuable ones out there. Have you ever found any a garage sale that are valuable, or is it usually through certain buys? Uh, no, just through buys. Most of the ones I see at garage sale are like ten dollars and under. Okay, yeah. Well, that will be why I've never looked at them. I think. So I think a shower chair. Yeah, I guess so. We're a little late getting their trash out today. Yep, got to give the program. Yeah, they like savings, man. I would think since we're coming up on spring, there should be some spring cleaning going on. Yeah, I would definitely. More trash at the curb. Definitely think that. I know we've done a lot of spring cleaning. We've gotten rid of a bunch of stuff. It's getting ready for, getting ready for the upcoming garage sale season, trying to clear out some space. What's been your favorite buy in the off season? Oh, uh, you've been a bunch of thrift stores and stuff. I have, but by far it's the chess. Um, oh yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, buying out the chess, uh, the chess club. That's probably my favorite find ever. I think <laughs> at this point. Um, have you done the math on what you spent versus what you sold? Um, yes. Well, so I've got a I've got a spreadsheet. I should have looked at it. I think at last I checked. So basically, I went. There was a Dayton Chess Club um, that, uh, unfortunately for them, during uh, COVID, they, they had to close their doors. So they had a couple sales, um, just getting rid of all their chess books and whatnot. I think I ended up going up there three different times before I just bought everything that was left. So I bought a ton, um, but I only ended up I only spent about two hundred and fifty bucks wow. for everything. Um, and last I checked. I'll, I'll do another video where I actually go through the my spreadsheet. But last I checked, I was around two thousand oh in profit. Like it, it was crazy, perfect That's timing. Nuts, because everyone was home. Um, Queen's Gambit had just come out. Yep, like, Queen's Gambit was really popular. Everyone was all about chess, so I sold a lot really fast. I still have a lot left, which I think will take a while to move. But it's just a bunch of books sitting in a bin. Super easy to store, but yeah, that's definitely my favorite. Favorite find. So we've got uh, opening day coming up, John. Yep, two days away. You are excited. We cannot wait. Any uh, any thoughts on what the season is going to look like? Or do you not even care? You just want to see baseball. I just want to see baseball. Um, I mean, I'm always hopeful for the Reds. I'm blindly optimistic, <laughs> I guess you could say. They lost Trevor Bauer, who won the Cy Young Award last year, so. Where that he, hurts. Where did he end up going? The Dodgers. Okay. Yeah, they paid him like they got forty the million dollars or something. Jeez, please. And then they lost uh, Rice Iglesias, and they didn't really add much. So <laughs> we'll see. They couldn't hit last year, so if they could just hit, yeah, then they should be competitive. I guess maybe that's why they got rid of the arms. Like, well, we're not going to pay these arms if we can't hit. It's not going to matter <laughs> right. anyway. Yeah. And I, I'm definitely excited to see some baseball. Um, like to get out to a game. You guys are going. Yeah, we're not Same going to opening right? day. We're going to go to the second game. And it's really interesting when I bought the tickets. Like you go to the res.com website and you have to click on a section and it'll say like you have to buy four tickets for this section because they've got it broken up into pods. Okay. Yep. For like social dis social distancing and everything. And it's only, you know, Whitney and I going, so I didn't want to buy four tickets, so I just have to keep clicking through sections until I found one that was oh, yeah, solid of two. two. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, I haven't been to the ballpark in two years. Yeah. A year and a half, I guess, whatever, maybe the end of the 2019 season. So that'll be fun going back and seeing what changes they've made for covid yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome but we're not seeing a whole lot so far guys <laughs> yeah we're about halfway through nothing has really really jumped, jumped out. out jinx <laughs> buy me coke so as we i guess as we're coming up on this new garage sale season is there is there anything you're wanting to do better different anything you're trying to learn more about this year um I really want to be pickier on what I buy. So in the last few months, I have raised 
the threshold of what I'm willing to list on eBay. It used to be, you know, anything around ten dollars and up I would list, and now it's more like fifteen to twenty. Gotcha. And if it's something like a video game where it's small, easy to list, easy to ship, I'll still do ten bucks. Right. Because it's gonna, you know, listing and shipping, I'm gonna be all in like five minutes work. So if I've got a dollar or less into it, I'll absolutely do ten dollars free shipping on that. Yeah, that makes sense. Because I can, you know, profit my net profit's gonna be about five bucks on five minutes work. Like that's a no brainer. Yep. But other than that, I really don't mess with it. And I've been doing a lot of group lots, okay. a lot of auctions. It seems like this pandemic has really um, had auction prices spiking. Everybody's at home, they're bored, it's entertainment for them. Yeah, gamified. Yeah, exactly. Auctions are gamified. And yeah, I've done really, really well doing with auctions. Awesome. Yeah, I, I did. I used to always, I was exclusive to auctions for a long time until I think that looks interesting. Might be the first. Uh... Looks like it's missing its handlebars or like the grips. But it is think? cool. Um, I don't think I want it. Do you want it? What brand is it? You scoot up a tad? Here, we'll show you guys what we're looking at here. Oh, yeah. Good idea, John. You want to hold it up to the... So it looks to be some sort of tricycle with the... I'm going to... You know what? I'm just going to grab it. Okay. I think I'll take it. I'll see. Yeah, I'd say so. Good. Just cardboard. Did you see what brand it was? I did not. I'll have to maybe flip it over. It may be unbranded. <clears throat> but usually, I mean, Jessica was wanting one of those years ago when the kids were smaller. Yeah, when it's like a little push up behind yeah. tricycle. Oh, we won't come home empty handed. It may not sell, but we won't be empty handed. <laughs> Their trash became our trash. Exactly. Uh, All right, we got a bunch of stuff here, guys. There's, gonna, there's a lot to look at. We're going to hold, hold that thought, everyone. Water tanks for your dog? Maybe. Box like feeders? Uh, yeah, these are no, these are actually it doesn't say it is like this. Grab them. Pet me? Yeah. You want the shelf? It's uh, got a broken piece. Cool. I feel like these could be... I feel like people might actually buy these. Could be wrong. Well, I know people buy them because we bought them. <laughs> oh, There's some more trash up here. I see something with wheels. Is it like a little doll bed or something? See some toilets. Yep. I always need a good toilet. <laughs> and the sink. We do a bathroom remodel. Yep. So, Whitney's mom, also Brennan's wife's mom, our <laughs> shared mother in law, she likes to call the toilet the John. And I take great offense to that. That's all you should. And I always make a big deal out of it because she'll do it. She still does it by mistake. And I'm just like, Betsy, I'm not a toilet. What an unfortunate. I'm just messing with her. She's fun to mess with. What an unfortunate uh, nickname. I know, right? I mean, the inventor of the toilet was named John. I'm yeah. pretty sure. So that's. I guess that makes sense. Huh? Yeah. So to your question to me about what I'm wanting to do different this, this season, uh, it's pretty much in line with what you said. Um, so I would say this is the first year that I've really tried to sell all year long. I usually don't have anything going on in the off season. 
uh, but this year was different. Uh, so I've got quite a few listings right now, but uh, I do want to work on just having a higher, higher average list price. Mm -hmm. um, so this past weekend we hit some sales, and I've listed. I remember my numbers correct. I think I've, I've listed 13 items for like a total list of a thousand five dollars. Whoa! So like, which yeah, is, that's really high. It's not sustainable. That's like 77 bucks an item, but. Um, that's what I'm really trying to do is just to try to just list better stuff. <laughs> yeah. To, uh, you know, make more money with a little bit less, less work, at least less amount of shipping, I guess. It's a lot of mulch. A lot of mulch. Yeah. I feel like that's the name of the game. Like, you know, make more and work less. Yeah. So raising that average sale price. <laughs> Kids on their bikes. <laughs> Not really worried about cars in the street. Nope. Did you get out this weekend? Last weekend? Yeah, I went um, Friday and Saturday. I went out to Harrison, which is like a 40 minute drive because mm -hmm. there was a neighborhood sale. And I did okay on Friday. And I, I guess I did okay both days because there was like half of the house was open Friday and the other half open Saturday. Okay. But yeah, I, I found some decent stuff. I haven't put the video out yet for Saturday. I think that's gonna come out tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, pretty early for a neighborhood sale. That's pretty. Yeah, it was very early. Yeah. Were there a lot of participants? I think fair amount. Like seven or eight on Friday, and about like ten to fifteen on Saturday. Yeah. We're it was. It ended up being worth the drive. Good. We're definitely getting closer to the. To the yeah, season. this weekend is Easter, so I'm thinking next weekend. I think that's when it'll really it kick should off. really start to yeah kick off. Where are Reds playing when you guys go? Cardinals. Cardinals. Okay. Yeah. We love the Cardinals. <laughs> no, no, we do not. I don't dislike the Cardinals as much as I don't like the Cubs. Really? Can't stand the Cubs. Now. When the Cardinals were good and the Cubs were bad, was it the same? same um, yes, defense? only mostly because of the fans. So if there's any Cubs fans watching this, I apologize. I'm mostly speaking about the local Cubs fans, quote unquote, that jumped on that bandwagon when they won the World Series in 2016. Gotcha. Um, but from when I go to games, the, the Cubs fans that attend are the least knowledgeable about baseball. And it's pretty frustrating because they're also the loudest. <laughs> That's so, I don't like going when they play the Cubs. Gotcha. Is that a fan? Little heater. No name here? Or no, it's got something on the bottom. Pun? No. <laughs> Might work. Maybe. Never know. Alright, I'm going to double back down a couple of these streets because people were bringing stuff out and there was something behind one of these cans that I want to yeah. see. I think it was a microwave or something maybe? Mm -hmm. The yeah, wind, the wind is crazy. blowing everything around. Alright, somebody has coolers out with their trash. Uh, he did bring those out when we were, we were excuse me, when we were driving by. Yeah, he's throwing those away. And one's got wheels. We were always looking for coolers. That's an Ohio State cooler. Yeah, I'm surprised he's throwing them away. I'm yeah. wondering if they're just... That is an interesting chair. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, it might be hard. Yeah. Just a single. Yeah. Sorry. No, you're good. If you're new here, this is what happens. John usually is picking up everything and recording <laughs> at the same time. I'm just off. Yep. Yeah. Looks like they 
are moving, so. Pretty full car, that is a good idea to double back here. Yeah. Know? Now, coolers, I've sold a couple of like the old Coleman's, mm -hmm. but uh, I haven't sold any like that, that Ohio State one. Yeah, that Ohio State one's nice. I bet new it was $50-$60. Because it's got like the cup holders on top and it's got um, a wheel and a handle to pull and everything. Do you think that's a good marketplace or do you think that's yeah, a eBay? marketplace for sure. The shipping would kill you. Yeah, well, it's not that big. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It's pretty big. Yeah. You're talking at least $30, $40 to ship it just because of the size of the box. To get into the balloon charge, you think? Is it that big? Yeah, I, I mean, you'd have to go UPS or FedEx. Okay, yeah. All right, there's something behind this trash can, and I'm curious. Very curious. done yeah we we're loaded up and we got some mail well Brennan got mail to sent to his place but I think there's a box for each of us there it is forgot all about this thanks John no problem so who sent this so this came from the devil dog picker I think he's got a channel on on YouTube devil dog picker I believe and he unfortunately for him he sent this <laughs> right before we stopped doing this yep. five months ago so. <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> you might not see if you didn't have the patience to wait five months <laughs> so we're gonna see what we've got in here i'm assuming what i have is the same as what john has probably same box sizes No, the suspense is killing all of you. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Oh man, we've got a got a letter of some sort here. Am I gonna have to read publicly? That's a lot of words. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's look at what we've got in here first. This is really nice of him. Okay, so this is from Brandon. 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 Thank you very much, Brandon. This is really, really nice of you. Um, I think at the time that he sent this card, his his eBay, well, his YouTube was the SoCal Treasure Hunter. I think his eBay is still SoCal Treasure Hunter, though. So but his really YouTube cool. is Devil Dog Picker. YouTube is Devil Dog Picker now. Okay. Holy cow. All right, yours is not going to be the same as mine, <laughs> I'm sure. That is awesome. Whoa, Jim Brown. That is... That's a uh, McFarland figure, isn't it? Uh, Todd McFarland? Legends. Yeah, it is. McFarland's That's awesome. sports picks. Wow, that is that is super nice, man. I wish I didn't have to wait that long to open it. Yeah, that's neat. Very, very cool. Thank you. All right. Get my keys back from you. I'll open this. There you go. Whoa! So you got Jim oh, Brown. Wow. I got Johnny Bench. That is awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. He's like leaning over the dugout fence to catch a foul ball. These are, that is killer. Brandon, thank you, man. That is excellent. Excellent job out of you. Sorry it took so long. Yeah, to, seriously. To get to it. That's but. a big fail on our part. 
I'm glad we at least waited until you know, we're, yeah. we're back back in the saddle. Because when he um, sent these, didn't he mention the resellers and cars picking trash show? Yeah. 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 I think he I think he specifically wanted it to be on here. So awesome. Brandon, thanks man. You guys, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next week. Yep. See you guys.